expecting you went through that dull opening, you would show up at one more universe. There is, as of now, a relationship between quantum processing and dim openings. In this instructive video, we explore a vital and startling discovery made by the James Webb Space Telescope inside a dim opening, made sense of by, in all honesty, Bill Nye the Science Guy. A dim opening is a star so tremendous that, without a doubt, even light can't escape from it because of its huge gravity. The mysteries of dim openings have puzzled specialists for a long time. Anyway, as of now, by virtue of surprising limits, we've seen something truly stunning. The extremely large dull opening consumes what could be contrasted with one Earth every day. The faltering and persuasive first image of a dim opening in space gets ready for yourself as we dive into the unbelievable nuances of this endless exposure and what it could mean for how we could decipher the universe. Stars, around the completion of their life, much more great and enormous than the sun, run out of fuel and begin to break down as gravity squashes them. Dim openings are fascinating. To remember, it was, as a matter of fact, a test to search for the beginning one. Regardless of the way that Einstein's theory of relativity anticipated they were normal, dissimilar to stars, dim openings radiate no light by their own doing. Their size and turn are the only quantifiable properties we have. Visual verification of dim openings, attesting to their existence, has only recently opened up. At any rate, authoritative affirmation of dim openings was lacking for a long time. The first dim opening, Sagittarius X1, was seen in 1964, yet it required over 30 years for experts like Stephen Hawking and Kip Thorne to agree on whether Sagittarius X1 was, for sure, a dim opening. Pedling, an observable figure in dim exploration, made certain about their open examination presence, but they were cautious about the shortfall of definitive revelations. Hawking and Thorne were almost 100% sure that Sagittarius X-1 was a dim opening in 1975 when the wager was first cast, and by 1988 they were 95% sure. Still, they held on until 1990 to respect verification when more observations gave satisfactory affirmation. The beginning discovery of Sagittarius X-1 was made using two Geiger counters sent into space on a suborbital rocket, detecting a signal pinpointed to a system 7,200 light-years away. The system highlighted a blue very giant star circling another colossal object emitting strong X-rays, which would make sense if it were a dim opening. Much examination has focused on Sagittarius X-1 since its discovery, revealing that it is multiple times the mass of the Sun, making it the largest known stellar mass dim opening found without gravitational waves. This discovery challenges long-held notions about dim opening development and the mass loss experienced by stars over their lifetimes. Sagittarius X-1 breaks records in additional ways than one. Its remarkable mass and the fastest spin speed of any dim opening observed up until now, moving toward the speed of light, oppose the accepted pattern of dim opening development. Although definitive evidence of dim openings has only recently been found, it is increasingly obvious that they are scattered throughout the universe. In any event, expecting analysts ultimately disentangle all the mysteries of Sagittarius X-1, the first of its kind, endless others still hold a vast number of surprises. Under 2,000 light-years from Earth, specialists have found a dormant giant, the Milky Way's largest stellar mass dim opening, Gaia BH3, with a mass several times greater than that of our Sun. In spite of being the second closest known dim opening to Earth, Gaia BH3 remained inconspicuous until recently. Gaia BH3 was found accidentally while scientists from the European Space Organization inspected information from the Gaia mission, which maps our galaxy in 3D. The discovery of this dormant dim opening, which isn't actively siphoning energy and material from a companion star, was a complete surprise. Normally, stellar mass dim openings in our Milky Way have a mass several times that of the Sun, with Sagittarius X1 holding the record at 15 times the Sun's mass. However, Gaia BH3, with a mass of 33 solar masses, is still small compared to all dim openings. For example, the central supermassive dim opening in our galaxy, Sagittarius A asterisk, is 4 million times greater than the Sun. Gaia BH3 is the second nearest dim opening to Earth, behind only Gaia BH1, 
which is 1,500 light-years away and is several times the mass of the Sun. Cosmologists now have more evidence to understand how stellar mass dim openings form. Dim openings from the end of massive stars with lower concentrations of heavy metals are believed to be the source of these enormous stellar mass dim openings. These metal-poor stars, made primarily of hydrogen and helium, are thought to experience slower mass loss, leaving more material available to form large dim openings when they die. Using the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, Specialists have found an incredibly red, very massive dim opening existing in the early universe's shadow. As the universe expanded, the very massive dim opening took on a reddish hue 700 million years after the Big Bang. The light traveling toward us is redshifted, suggesting a thick layer of gas and dust surrounding the dim opening. Lucas P. Fennell and Avi Kerr of the Bennan College of the NAS Cosmology Group determined the dim opening's mass using JWST data, finding it to be around 40 times the sun's mass. This discovery stands out from the universe it inhabits, showing that the very massive dim opening is quickly consuming the surrounding dust and gas. Located about 12.9 billion light-years from Earth, this quasar was initially recognized by its red appearance. Quasars are made when a lot of material surrounds very massive dim openings. Forming a disk of gas and dust that feeds the dim opening, the massive gravitational impact of the dim opening disrupts this matter, creating extreme temperatures and making it shine. The light produced by quasars can be so brilliant that it eclipses all the stars in their surrounding galaxy. The JWST identified this very large dim opening as a small point due to the massive amount of radiation it was emitting. The object was initially identified as a strange star-forming galaxy in light of color analysis, supporting the theory of very massive dim openings. Its small size and very massive nature stood out from other quasars observed in the early universe. This discovery was made possible by gravitational lensing, a phenomenon predicted by Einstein in 1915. Einstein's theory of general relativity suggests that objects of mass bend the fabric of spacetime, which combines into a single entity called spacetime. This curve creates gravity, and the larger the object, the more intense the curvature. The shape of spacetime also influences the light emitted by stars, bending it as it passes close to massive objects. This phenomenon, known as gravitational lensing, allows us to see distant objects that would otherwise be invisible. The JWST used this effect, supported by a galaxy group called SMX J7233-7327, to to amplify the brightness of distant galaxies and reveal the red quasar. This new information adds to the growing body of evidence that the early universe was populated with exceptionally large dim openings, which can be millions or even billions of times heavier than the Sun. Since this phenomenon has been observed in various early universe very large dim openings, it sheds light on the evolution of both the dim opening and the host galaxy, as well as the relationship between the two. The classic chicken or egg problem, however, on a cosmic scale, remains unresolved. Did the universe or the dim opening come first? How large were the first dim openings, and how did they evolve? Analysts might have found proof that microquasars, which are dim openings consuming companion stars, are enormous particle accelerators, producing unexplained high-energy galactic radiation that hits Earth. These giant dim openings consume material from nearby very large stars in binary systems, and some of the stellar matter is ejected as relativistic jets traveling at unimaginable speeds. Microquasars are smaller versions of quasars, both energized by very large dim openings consuming nearby matter. In 1912, high-energy particles could hit Earth with energies reaching 10 to the power of 20 electron volts, significantly more energetic than particles accelerated at the Large Hadron Collider, the world's most powerful atom smasher. The theory suggests that very large dim openings and microquasars are the universe's most extreme particle accelerators. However, evidence of microquasars accelerating particles to such high energies has only recently been confirmed. Using the High Energy Stereoscopic System, HESS, analysts identified exceptionally high-energy gamma rays from the jets of the most powerful microquasar in the Milky Way, establishing a link between cosmic rays and microquasars. 
the microquasar SS-433 produces high-energy gamma rays through its jets, which interact with surrounding matter, creating a shock front that accelerates electrons to extreme speeds. These gamma rays are a consequence of this interaction. SS-433 was the first microquasar ever discovered, located at the center of the W-50 supernova remnant, affectionately called the Manatee Cloud. SS-433 has been the subject of extensive study for decades. The system consists of a white giant star and a dim opening about 10 to 15 times the sun's mass. They orbit each other every 13 Earth days, with the star's outer layers being stripped by the dim opening's gravity. Some of this material forms an accretion disk around the dim opening, while other parts are ejected as jets traveling at 26% of the speed of light. These jets twist in a thin pattern, forming the W-50 supernova remnant and giving it the appearance of a giant manatee. The jets fade over time but return in a repeating pattern, driven by the periodic motion of SS-433. The jets from the dim opening also interact with the surrounding matter, creating a complex interaction between the dim opening and its environment. This behavior makes SS-433 one of the most fascinating and enlightening objects in the study of microquasars and their role in cosmic particle acceleration. Despite SS-433 being the first identified microquasar, much remains unclear about how dim openings accelerate particles to such extreme energies and their broader impact on the universe. Scientists use various methods, including indirect measurements, to understand these giant phenomena. For example, dim openings can be observed through their interactions with neighboring stars and matter, as evidenced by the dramatic increase in X-ray emissions as material is pulled into their gravitational grasp. This phenomenon is crucial in understanding dim openings and their impact on the universe, providing fundamental insights into the evolution and behavior of these mysterious objects. In the realm of dim opening research, the new discovery of the most distant known dim opening, an extraordinary 13.1 billion light years away, has also expanded our understanding of these massive giants. This discovery, made possible by the capabilities of the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, reveals an exceptionally massive dim opening formed under a billion years after the Big Bang. This early development challenges existing theories about dim opening formation and galaxy evolution. Observations suggest that these early dim openings may have played a significant role in shaping the structure of the universe by influencing the formation and development of the earliest galaxies. In addition to their role in galaxy formation, dim openings have been linked to powerful cosmic phenomena known as active galactic nuclei, AGN. AGNs are characterized by incredibly bright outflows from the areas around supermassive dim openings at the centers of galaxies. This outflow occurs when material from the surrounding accretion disk is heated to extreme temperatures as it spirals inward, emitting X-rays and other forms of radiation. Studying AGNs provides valuable insights into the feeding behavior of dim openings and their influence on their host galaxies. These studies have shown that AGNs can significantly impact galaxy evolution by regulating star formation and distributing heavy elements throughout the galaxy. Recent advances in gravitational wave astronomy have provided a new way to test the properties of dim openings. The detection of gravitational waves from merging dim openings by observatories such as LIGO, Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, and Virgo has opened a new frontier in understanding these elusive objects.